Ever pondered how plants which seem so stationary manage to reproduce? What part do tiny particles known as pollen grains play in this fascinating process? Welcome to an intriguing exploration of the role and structure of pollen grains in plant reproduction. Pollen grains, often overlooked, are in fact the superheroes of the plant world. They are microscopic particles produced by the male part of the flower, the stamen. Each pollen grain is a single cell, often spherical in shape and is the plant's version of sperm cells in animals. However, these are not just simple cells. Pollen grains are an architectural marvel. Each grain is encased in a protective coat known as the exine, which is one of the most resistant organic materials known. This robust armor shields the delicate genetic material within from the harsh external environment, ensuring it remains intact on its journey to the female part of the flower. Within this protective exine lies the intine, a second thinner wall. The intine safeguards the all-important genetic cargo, which is split between two cells. The larger of these two cells, the tube cell, is destined to form a pollen tube, a kind of biological bridge which allows the second smaller cell, the sperm cell, to travel to the female ovule. Now let's delve into the function of these fascinating grains. In a process known as pollination, pollen grains are transferred from the male part of the flower, the anther, to the female part, the stigma. This transfer can occur through a variety of methods, including wind, water, or animal vectors such as bees and butterflies. When a pollen grain lands on a compatible stigma, it germinates, creating a pollen tube through which the sperm cell can travel down to the ovule, enabling fertilization. So, to summarize, pollen grains are mighty microscopic particles, produced by the male part of the flower. They are enclosed in a robust protective coat and carry the plant's genetic material split between two cells. These grains play a crucial role in plant reproduction. Transferring genetic material from the male to the female part of the flower through pollination, ultimately enabling fertilization. In the vast world of plant reproduction, pollen grains are indeed indispensable. They are the silent carriers of life, ensuring the survival of plant species across the globe. So the next time you see a bee buzzing around a flower or a dandelion releasing its seeds into the wind, Remember the crucial role that these tiny, complex, and fascinating pollen grains play in the cycle of life.